Hey what's up everyone welcome back to a new video on the channel. Today we are going to check out a new feature that has been released on Wix which is the redirect manager and the redirect manager is a super useful tool and it's been missing for such a long time so it's definitely a tool that's going to be super useful if you're using the Wix platform uh, and if you watch the latest video that I did in the Wix advanced SEO series we walk through the SEO patterns, which also is a new feature that Wix has released specifically for SEO. So as you can tell by now, Wix are doing a lot of advancements when it comes to SEO and overall SEO improvements. And they are trying to release more and more features that make their platform more and more SEO friendly. But going back to the redirect manager, in today's video, we are going to cover some of these features, what you can use it for, and basically how to use this tool, just to give you a brief overview of what you can use it for and when you should use the tool. But with that being said, let's just jump into the tutorial and hopefully you enjoy. So the first thing you want to do when you get onto Wix is to jump over to the SEO tools. Uh, this is the feature that we walked through in the latest episode where we cover the SEO patterns. Uh, we walk through the SEO patterns, how to structure your SEO patterns, and basically the, the overview that you should have when you start playing around with this feature. But as I mentioned in this video, we're going to walk through the URL redirect manager. Uh, the URL redirect manager is essentially a tool that allows you to redirect specific URLs which either has been removed or you have changed the URL to something else. What you want to achieve when you do your SEO is to send these users to a correct or relevant URL that actually should be the replacement for the URL that used to be there. And as Wix says right here, it's essentially redirect site visitors and search engines from an old URL to a new URL. Uh, that's, that's the basics of it. It is not super advanced, but overall it's super helpful, but it can fairly quickly get a bit advanced. If you have a lot of URLs and you have a lot of redirects you have to do, it can get a bit advanced. Uh, but let's just jump into the tool. So you just click on the URL redirect manager. Uh, once you get in here, you'll see that you don't currently have any redirects at all and if you already have redirects then you already use the tool so you're already aware on how to use it uh, what we are going to do now is actually get a new redirect set up for this test website that i have created so all we have to do now is click on create a new redirect and then you will see two options right here you have the single redirect and then you also have the group redirect so the single redirect is going to be when you change one url and you want to redirect users to a new url or when you want to redirect people from an old url to another url which has relevant content to what the old url used to have so just to give you a brief example if you have the old url which used to talk about how you can hire yourself as a photographer in your city but you decided to change the URL or you decided to get rid of this page and you created a new page which has a new URL. You obviously want to ensure that your page that you used to have, which might even still be getting traffic from Google or from anywhere else. Maybe someone has linked to this URL on their own website or maybe someone has posted your link on Facebook or someone has posted your link on Instagram. Whatever it is, you want to make sure that people who click on this old URL still gets to a relevant piece of content that used to be there. The link that someone sees on Facebook, for example, let's say the old URL used to be yeah, how much your pricing is for your photography and someone is interested to read more about your pricing for your photography and they click on the link but it's just gone the content is no longer there obviously you want to make sure that this user gets that relevant content and you want to redirect that user to a piece of content that is either relevant or the same as it used to be on the old url so moving on you have the explanation here which is enter the old url you're directing traffic from and then add the new url that you want people to find uh, so the example here is that you have your about us page but you have changed the url to about so what you would do here is basically put the path that you have for your website so just to give you an example here of what you can create let's say we are a barber and we have a URL, which is Barber, Barber, New York. It's our old URL slug, but we actually have changed it to Barber. Maybe you moved your location. Let's say you moved your location and you wanted to change your URL while doing so. So obviously, let's say the new location is going to be Los Angeles. 
you moved all the way from New York to Los Angeles. Obviously, you want to change these according to what your new URL is going to be. And in some cases, it doesn't even have to be that you just change the URL slug. In some cases, it can be that you removed the Barber New York page and you don't want to create a new page which is about Barber New York. You just want to get rid of this page. You don't use it anymore. So what do you do in that case? Well, what you can do is link to another page on your website that has similar or relevant content that that user who wants to visit the Barber in New York can still see as relevant. If you don't have a page that is similar to the Barber in New York page, you can still have this just link to your homepage. So that is basically how you do your redirect mapping from an old URL to the new URL that you have created. So moving from the single redirect over to the group redirects right here. Group redirects are when you want to redirect the whole path of URLs to a new path of URLs. So let's say we do have, so in the example that right here, we have the forum and then you have questions. But actually, the new URL path is going to be forum FAQs. That makes sense. They, you wanted to rename questions into FAQs. And what will happen is that all the content that comes after forum and questions, let's say you have forum questions, how to get a haircut or what haircut should I get? What is the best haircut? Where is the store located? All of those slugs will also be moved to the new URL path. So the same URLs, all of them will be redirected at the same time to the new URL path. And they actually have an example down here as well, which I totally missed. So you have your site.com, forum questions, rest of the URL. So basically this would be whatever that specific question would be in this case. So where do I get a haircut? What is the best haircut? How much do you charge for a haircut? All of these questions that you have on this FAQ page would then be redirected to the site.com slash forum slash FAQs and then have the same slug that they used to have before. And that is basically it. Once you have made the changes, just go ahead and click save and close or you can click save and add another one. So moving on from there, you can also upload your redirects from a file. So if you have a lot of redirects and you're doing it in an Excel file, what you can do is upload this file and then have all the redirects set up automatically. So right here, we can download the template as well. So let's just download this template real quick and open this template up. You can see here that you'll have your old URLs and then you'll have your new URLs. Same as before, have all of your old URLs here and then you structure your new URLs here and then you upload this file to Wix and it will add your redirects for you. So just to give you an example here, let's add something here. So we have, let's say this is home, but we want to redirect this page to uh, home page. And then let's save this real quick. So I just uploaded the redirect that we did and you can see four new redirects have been added. So you can just go ahead and click import the redirects. Let's do that. And let's see if we do have our new redirect that we just created in the Excel file. And as you can see right there on the top, there was an error. And the reason why it wouldn't allow us to upload these redirects is because they are not valid. It's not valid redirects to use because we don't have these URLs on our current website. So that's basically it for the redirects feature in Wix. Obviously, it's a great feature. I love it. I love that it made it possible to edit them directly on Wix as well and not only in the file. So if you only have to do one or two redirects right here, super friendly, create a new redirect, single redirect, add the URL you want to change and what where you want to send this traffic and then just save and close. So super useful tool and it's just a great feature by Wix. But that is gonna be for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and hopefully you learned something new. Uh, if you could leave a like on this video or a dislike, I would really appreciate it. And if you have any questions around VIX SEO or maybe the redirects themselves, just leave it in the comments down below and I'll try to answer as many questions as possible. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any other videos in the future. But that is going to be for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the very next video.